Babette's Feast, 1950, is a short story by Danish author Karen Blixen, who also wrote under the names Isaac Dinesen, Tanya Blixen, Osceola, and Pierre Andrezel. Her best-known work is Out of Africa, 1937, the story of her life while she was living in Kenya. Several times during her career, Blixen was considered for the Nobel Prize in Literature. Babette's Feast is a story from a collection titled Anecdotes of Destiny, and it tells the story of a French servant, Babette, who spends a sizable lottery prize preparing a gourmet meal. It takes place in a Norwegian town on December 15, 1883, a Sunday. The true focus of the story deals with relationships and the ways in which people choose to live their lives. Berlevag is a small town near Berlevag Fjord in Norway. It is a solitary place. At the start of the story, the central characters are the elderly spinsters Philippa and Martine, the daughters of a Protestant priest who ruled from a strict puritanical perspective. The townspeople both feared and admired him. Since his death, his daughters have tried to uphold the selfless traditions he displayed such as performing good works for others. Seemingly out of place in the unadorned existence the sisters espouse is the inclusion in their home of a French maid named Babette. The story flashes back to the sisters' youth, when their only social activity was attending church. A young lieutenant from a noble background, Laurence Lohenhelm, lives a reckless life until his father sends him to a town near Berlevag to better himself. He falls in love with Martine immediately while visiting Berlevag one day. Despite his desire to profess his love, he's unable to speak in her presence because he believes himself unworthy. He returns home a changed man, however, determining to focus on his career instead of love. A year later, Achille Papin, who is a famous opera singer, hears Philippa sing in church and believes he has found a new star. Though Achille convinces both Philippa and her father to let Philippa take vocal lessons from him, Achille becomes so enraptured during a Mozart song that he kisses Philippa. Philippa subsequently abandons her lessons and refuses to see the dejected Achille. Babette enters the sisters' lives years later. She is a widow who has fled France. Achille is a friend of hers, and he sends her to the sisters, remembering the goodness of Philippa. Babette becomes a servant in the household and learns to take over the cooking. Babette accepts her role as a servant, but also works to lower the household expenses on behalf of her employers. The plotline takes a turn when Babette wins a thousand francs in the lottery. As Martine and Philippa fear that Babette will now leave them, Babette hatches a plan. Knowing that the sisters are planning a party in commemoration of their father's birthday, with the intent of keeping it simple and without food as is fitting with the simple Puritan lifestyle, Babette asks for permission to pay for and prepare an authentic French meal for the celebration. When they see how excited Babette is about her request, they cannot manage to turn her down. Things begin to get ridiculously out of hand as Babette travels to Paris to work on planning the meal, and then returns with a collection of boxes presumably loaded with items pertaining to the meal. Local people begin helping to bring things in wheelbarrows from the beach to the kitchen. Martine realizes that one box contains a large tortoise. As the unexpected continues to happen, it seems that Babette has taken on a role of control in the house rather than being a servant and the kitchen has taken on a supernatural air. Martine and Philippa apologize to the townspeople, telling them that they feel guilty over the event that Babette is planning, which they compare to a satanic Sabbath. The people decide that together they will attend the meal but will not take pleasure in what they eat. Meanwhile, Lorenz re-enters the story as a successful general from France. He is to attend the party with his aunt, the one with whom he stayed when he fell in love with Martine. As they approach the party, he wonders if in spite of the successes he has achieved he has missed discovering what the real purpose of his life is. The celebration is strange, but the unexpected takes place. Opposites become far less different than they had been. What were once strained relationships become more relaxed. Philippa sings, Martine and Laurence exchange loving glances, and conflicts resolve. The general speaks of mercy and truth as the pastor had once done. Another plot twist reveals that Babette had been a famous chef in Paris, and she considers herself a true artist. She tells the sisters that the dinner cost her all of the winnings and that she is now poor. Though they pity her, she welcomes her new life as a creative artist in her new home of Berlevag. Philippa can relate to Babette as they are both artists of a sort. 
The story closes with Philippa hugging Babette while telling the accomplished chef that angels will one day enjoy Babette's food. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.